All right, everybody, a happy Friday to you. It's time for your first alert forecast update. This is going to be something we see getting into not just, of course, the start of the weekend, but really the second half. Let's see how we're all going to be getting to a first alert weather day. And we see this right now going into rounds of rain that will be heavy at times. We could easily see a little bit of isolated flash flooding possible because of what is going to build up. Low pressure out of the south, big area of moisture, a lot of rain, gusty winds, all of this coming at us getting into early Sunday morning and it should last throughout a good deal of the day. So let's track this through for you as we're going to be looking onward. Today, nothing doing. We thaw out from early morning 20s. We get to upper 50s today. Beautiful Friday afternoon, mainly sunny. Okay, now as we go on though, Saturday we see clouds build in. Not really as much in the way of rain though. It's just going to be a cloudier day overall. So that works on. Then we see late into Saturday. A little bit of an appetizer, a couple little tiny showers that are possible. And I personally think these are going to be pushed on a bit further into the day. I'm thinking the evening, so after we get past sunset. Then we go into Saturday night. A few little showers hold steady. And then the big event, the main course of what is going to be some heavy rain potential. This all wrapped up in this low that is just going to be continuing to try and really be centered close to the South Carolina coastline based on current projections. And as that happens, that means it's just going to be keeping up with that counterclockwise spin. It's going to pick up some moisture from the Atlantic on, of course, this part of the ocean for us, as opposed to where it came up out of the Gulf. And it's just keeping on dumping that rain. We could easily get in some spots two inches, even a little bit higher of rain once all is said and done. And this continues to make its push towards the north. It's going to be a system you need to keep checking back with us on air, online, hour by hour updates. And we'll have them for you all the way through that Sunday as we start to likely close this out by the end of that second half of the weekend. But of course, if any little tweaks need to be made to this forecast, we'll keep you posted. As we go on, quick check, three days overall, mainly sunny today, clouds build in tomorrow, and then Sunday, the rain, the wind, it's flashing red right here because that is going to be a first alert weather day. We get you into that first alert 10 day forecast, Pretty easy, does it? Otherwise, during this stretch, that Sunday, really going to be the day to watch. You need to be careful. Some very treacherous travels are possible, especially if this was a day you were thinking of, you know, heading down to the coast for some reason. So watching out for that. Going into next week, we get back to calmer conditions, the sunshine, and chills for morning temperatures. Reminders again, keep checking back for those Sunday updates. Appreciate again, everyone. For tuning in this has been of course uh, always good to give you these online updates from different platforms i'm wis first alert meteorologist tony shivaroli make it a great and safe weekend